sometimes charities can feel like your money is just disappearing into yep. a massive void. And I've, I got really jaded towards, uh, this sounds awful, but just towards like poor people for a long time. Cause I lived <laughs> with a bunch yeah. and did, uh, did like half house type stuff mm -hmm. and you just like shell out all your time and money and resources and it still doesn't seem to help people. And, and one of the, one of the things I had plenty of elements of fundamentalism just in my personality, mm -hmm. uh, in teens and twenties that were not at all helpful. But one of the things that I still, I'm not saying this is helpful, but most people would think like, oh, I can respect that. Mm -hmm. uh, I took really literally, people said the whole, Jesus said that if you, if someone asks you for something, give it to them. Yep. And so uh, like homeless person would ask me if I had any money and I'd just like, whatever was in my wallet, I'd give it to yeah. them. And uh, cause I was just very literalistic. And yeah, over time I was just like, I don't regret doing that because it was a good like thought exercise yeah, and absolutely. experience and growing as a person. But I don't know if there's one person of the, uh, not just homeless people on the on the street, like holding the sign, because we'd bring a lot of them home to our halfway house. And yeah. But of all those people, maybe like 40 people that, that I had somewhat extended amount of time with. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of them are doing that great right now still yeah. years later and it it's not that we shouldn't help yeah but i don't know i just no, got kind of jaded yeah and that's a huge thing it, there are so many problems again getting outside of our circle there's so many problems in the world and even thinking about how to tackle them and what the best way to tackle them can be mm -hmm. daunting at the least and like completely overwhelming yeah. at the worst so i absolutely follow that where it's like I feel like I should be doing something, but yeah, is it, you know, like you said, is it going to be doing all that much good and, and trying to find more root causes of yes, problems exactly. and, uh, or just things that can address that. Like one thing that, uh, was one of Alex and I's goals for this year is to give a percent of, uh, the different wedding, each wedding we have and give to the children's safety center around here. Cause mm, it's like, nice. you can't really argue with that. Yep. Like keeping kids safe from abuse, the domestic abuse yeah. and sexual abuse and those kinds of things. And they do fantastic work. So it's like, I could give them, I could totally give them money. Yeah. And, uh, cause they, I'm sure they use their resources well for one. And then the people who even the management, like they all deserve to be paid more for yep. the stuff yeah, that they absolutely. do. And I've done several interviews for them and just listening to the stories, like you have to deal with that every day, like listening to those stories and helping those kids yeah. process things. And, um, and it's a, it's just crazy that, you know, nonprofits and teachers and all these people that are wildly underpaid so, compared to other people. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's uh societal priorities. We need to get, get uh, straight. Absolutely agreed.